War Stories brought to you by Gary Gruner Chevrolet, Buick GMC in Madras. One out of every seven Central Oregonians is a veteran. In our weekly War Stories series, we introduce you to the story of Central War Oregon War veterans, some who made it back from their war and some who didn't. Tonight, we introduce you to the story of a Vietnam War veteran from Prineville named George McCart. <music> Born January 15, 1946 at Sacred Heart Hospital in Eugene. I have four sisters. We did a lot of camping out in old, old houses and, and wood stoves. You know, it was without houses. That was, that was what we moved to. I didn't do a lot of childhood because I was, I was working when I was 13. The high school I went to was the old Crook County High School. I used to sing loud enough so I could be heard over the tractor. I signed up for choir because it was one of the classes I didn't have to write or do math or do homework in other than just singing and I, I was singing on the ranch all the time. My, my girlfriend was over and one thing led to another and my mother came home unexpectedly from the hospital <clears throat> without letting anybody know and chased me and the young lady outside and so uh, right after that, I went into service. I figured it wasn't a good idea to stay at home and do things that I was going to do because it wouldn't, I wouldn't fit in. I volunteered for the Navy, and that means I volunteered to do whatever job they had in mind for me. And it wasn't up to me to say, no, I won't do this or I won't do that. When you volunteer for something, you're going to stand there and do it until the job's done. We had two of them that were starting to sink, so we went back to get pumps and hoses and, and patching gears to do things, and they hit us again. They gave us a real nice 20-minute window to get everybody out of the bunkers, and they, when, they, when, they hit, when they hit us, they did a... They, they, you could. You could tell they were just walk, walking down the landing ramp. One of them went off and picked me up in the air and threw me into the side of a bunker. My legs were blown off below the knee. I spent a year in the Portland Hospital. I spent a year in Wadsworth General in LA. And after a year, I could walk 40 feet in my artificial legs, a whole 40 feet a year of physical therapy and working my tail off. And I told the doctors one day, I says, let me out of here. I'm going to, I'm going to vegetate into something that I don't like. Just let, let, let me get out of the hospital. I'm done. There's no, no sense in me trying to work any more on this. Just give me a wheelchair and let me out and I'll go, I'll go do my thing. And you, you guys, you guys can do your thing on somebody that'll do better. When I got done with all of my classes at the University of Oregon, I just packed up and moved over here, started this business in 77. I've just, and I've been doing it ever since. I design houses, that's what I do. This is where I've been running my business and living and providing a service for the people who, are, who live in this, in this area. My roots are awful deep here. I was married for 25 years. My daughter's raised, my son's grown. I'm fairly well satisfied with what, what, I've, what I've done so far. In my spare time, I, I work on old cars because I like hot rods. <laughs> I'm an avid hunter. I hunt every time I, get a, every, every time I get a tag. I go to the gym three days a week. And when the weather gets nice, I make a double lap of the cul-de-sac here, which works to a mile. That keeps me in reasonably good shape. I've tried a couple times here recently to retire, and all, all the builders say, just one more. And so I'm still doing it. We 
we'd like to thank George for sharing his story. And a special thanks to our War Story sponsor, Gary Gruner Chevrolet Buick GMC, for giving us the time and resources to tell the stories of Central Oregon War veterans. Every for more stories that matter to you, watch Central Oregon Daily on KOHD ABC, KBNZ CBS, and CentralOregonDaily.com.